dark world. Hardened hearts, parched souls, sorrows. Now, now, off the beautiful. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ to be with you, dear friends. Thank God for the opportunity to meet you with Philokalia too. Naturally, every human being has the tendency to love good things, to love the beautiful things. Problem with us, sometimes what is beautiful for you may not be beautiful for some others. Sometimes what is good for you may not be good for others. I have seen when I say something good to my children, for them it is bad. And when children say something good to me, for me it is bad. So we don't, sometimes we don't understand what is good and bad. And some of you knows what is good, even I. We knows what is good. But we have a tendency to fall in love with bad things. We know this is good and this is bad, but we are attracted to bad very often than the good. In the early Christian history and the church fathers, their theology and philosophy was not outside the world. Their research was, how can equip human beings to know the good things and to fall in love with good things. That was their philosophy, that was their theology, nothing else. We must teach the people to know what is good and to fall in love with good. And I still remember when I was very small, while I was studying in Arabic college, my teacher taught me an Arabic prayer which I liked so much and even today I pray the same prayer. It reads like this, Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqa warzukuna tiba'ah wa arina al-batula batula warzukuna jitnaba amina bi rahmatika ya arham ar-rahimin which means, oh Allah, give me grace to know the truth as truth and give me grace to follow the truth. And Allah, give me grace to know the bad things as bad things and give me grace to reject bad things. So we are asking God to give us grace to know the good things and to do the good things. And to know the evil things and to reject evil things. I think it is the good prayer we also can practice. So now you can pray like this. Oh Jesus, give me grace to know what is good and to follow good things. And give me grace to know bad things and to reject bad things. This prayer will give you grace to follow the good things and to do the good things. Now, even after knowing what is good and what is bad. If you are unable to stop doing bad things and if you are unable to do good things, you need training to do that. What are the training? And that is what all about Philokalia, the training to do good things. I still remember when I, in the year 1998, I learned uh, driving. I took my license, learner's license, and within one week I learned. And it, it took overnight for me to know the theory of driving gear and clutch, accelerator, everything. And then uh, after learning one week, I was so active and I was so happy. You know what I did? I took one car from Truandrum and all alone I started driving to Trichu. On the way back from Ernakulam, I met, you know, I met an accident with a cycle, uh, with a motorcycle man and he fell down and his hands were broken. So I took him to hospital, admitted there, came back. And then I went to police station for my click clearance, that, this, everything. And I came back home. And my neighbor was standing outside my home, Mr. Shaji. So I said, Shaji, uh, I made an accident and this is a case and I am running with all the papers. Please pray for me. Then he smiled and said, Mario, learning the theory of driving is one night. And learning how to drive is maybe maximum three days or five days, you say. But to become a perfect driver, you have to drive your car all alone, minimum thousand kilometers, he said. I said, why did you say that? He said, learning driving is not an easy thing. It is not overnight. You can learn the theory, but you will become perfect driver only by practice. I want to say the same thing to my friends now. 
if you want to do only good things in your life you need training and you need practice this is not overnight program don't think that within a night you can become holy of course you can take a decision that i will lead a holy life but you need the training and how that training comes the first step of that training philokalia church fathers teaches us every man must go within himself into the aloneness they did not say into the loneliness that is very devilish and that is not good the aloneness the problem with you and with me we are so busy in the church we have so many friends in the prayer group we have so many friends when you open social media you have so many friends in the family you have so many you are outside you don't go within yourself very often you must go silently into yourself that is called aloneness and in that aloneness you will know that your god the creator of this universe is with you and when you realize in aloneness that the master of this universe is with you you will fall in love with him and once if you fall in love with him the second step is you can go outside outside means you can use your brain and work in your office with computer science that this etc and you can go out and work with your hard work you know in the ground you can work cultivate or build the buildings you can work and after working you will learn definitely once if you earn you have your necessity so provide your necessity and you will have lot of greed don't provide for the greed if you have the balance after your necessity after your need go and find out who is in need that may be your neighbor that may be someone in your parish that may be somewhere out so go and help them with what you earned little extra so very clearly the philokalia fathers teaches us if you want to know what is good and if you want to do only good you need the training the first step of training is going back to aloneness falling in love with the creator of this universe and doing hard work and smart work and earning after your necessity helping those who are in efficient in in insufficiency may almighty god bless you peace be with you